welcome to the CNBC TV 18 special. I'm Shireen Bhan. We're talking about demonetization, its implications for the Indian economy, and of course what we should expect as far as the budget 2017 is concerned. Joining me today, a very special guest, senior BJP leader, and of course uh, uh, the minister who is looking after urban development and information and broadcasting, Mr. Venkaiah Naidu. So thank you very much for joining us on CNBC TV 18. Uh, let me start by asking you about demonetization. The Prime Minister had asked for 50 days. The 50 days ended yesterday. We've seen merely some uh, relaxation coming in only as far as the withdrawal limits at ATMs are concerned. Uh, the hope was and the expectation was that the withdrawal limits that were imposed would have been lifted altogether. If things have improved, then why do the withdrawal limits still Things stay? are improving gradually. Oh. They will improve further. Incentivization of digital transactions that's happening now, could it not have happened before demonetization? They, one can argue that way also. But my point is, that has started before. Shall I tell you one thing? What is this Janadhana Yojana? Mm. Prime Minister, after settling in office, mm. the call he has given to the people of the country is open the bank accounts. Mm. People started hackering. Some people started laughing at it. Mm. But we could make 26 crore people sure. to open their bank account. Mm. 26 crore means each family four members or five members. Mm. That means 90%, 95% of the population has come under banking net. Mm. Inclusive growth, you need bank accounts. Mm. Now, PM also started talking about J JAM, mm. Janadhana Yojana, Aadhaar and Mobile. Yes. And today you have 99% are mm. Aadhaar seeded. Mm. That's also a move in that direction. Mm. And then mobile. Mm. Now you have more than 100 crore mobile phones. Sure. And ultimately you want to link Janadhana, Aadhaar and mobile mm. while transfer takes easily. Sure. So these things are happening mm. simultaneously. The SIT had made several other recommendations. The SIT never recommended demonetization, but the SIT had talked about this disincentivizing high-value cash use. What can we expect now? Are we likely to see some of the other recommendations of the Definitely, SIT being taken forward? Every recommendation of the SIT is being discussed, considered at various levels. And also, we are also receiving public suggestions also. We should ultimately move in the direction of eliminating middlemen, hmm. eliminating ZK. You remember late Rajiv Gandhi, long back. He lamented saying if I send 100 rupees from Delhi, yes. by the time it reaches Anantapur, mm. only 15 rupees is reaching sure. 85 rupees mm. leakage. Mm. That's why this jam, Janadhana, Aadhaar and Mobile, mm. that's the ultimate solution. Mm. And then DBT, Congress party talked about it, but they did not. Mm. The direct benefit transfer, mm. your scholarship, your pension, your yes. subsidy, your uh, compensation, your insurance claims, all those things. These are all the steps. And then this Binami properties. Mm. Also is a major issue. Mm. And then correction in the land prices, mm. talking to the states and also with regard to registration, you know, I, I, stamp I, I, duty. I want to talk to you about this business of correction of land prices because this has been an argument that the government has presented. And this perhaps ties in then with your plan for housing for all, which is a stated objective of this government. The hope is that in budget 2017, housing is going to be the big focus area. I know other ministries, the railway ministry has asked for more funds in terms of gross budgetary support. The highway and roads ministry has asked for more and they've been turned down by the finance ministry is what we're given to understand. Perhaps the allocations will remain the same as last year. Your ministry might get more uh, from the finance ministry. What have you asked it's for? It's all uh, quite but natural for every ministry to ask for more funds hmm. because there is demand everywhere. I don't quarrel with them. If I were to be a railway minister, I would have argued for railways. Hmm. But housing is a core area where the Prime Minister has made an assurance to the people by 2022, housing for all. So it's a massive task I have mm. in front of me. So I have been asking the finance minister, even I made a presentation before the prime minister also, that I need good amount of money. Mm. The money that is given is not sufficient. One. Okay. What so have now, you asked now, for, now, now everything is uh, geared up. I cannot uh, talk about the exact uh, number of... Uh, uh, listing amount I have asked because is it a 10% increase no. over last year's allocation, 15%, 20%? I, I, I have a two-fold uh, request or objective. One, to reduce the interest mm. considerably. Mm. For that also I need money. Na? Mm. Banks are not going to give you free. Mm. You need to give bank money. So I have already shown the direction that for the affordable housing, I am giving 6.5% interest subvention okay. for a credit link subsidy. Mm. For the ordinary houses in some areas and all, I am going to give 1,50,000 rupees. Mm. That itself requires thousands of crores of mm. money. So I have impressed upon the finance minister. I met him. 
my officers also met them, made a presentation. Even I have written to Prime Minister and mm. requested Prime Minister, discuss with the Prime Minister also. Mm. I can be frank on that, mm. that this is a sector which needs a good support. Shall I tell you one thing? The yes. Prime Minister in our parliamentary party meeting while talking about demonetization, he said, whatever benefits we get, my priority is Gam, Garib, Kisan, Mazdoor, Mahila and Yuva. Mm. Housing, health and education. Mm. These are the priority areas. So I am hopeful that definitely housing will get a big boost to the budget. Should we now factor in as the next steps to try and boost this sector? Because this is a sector uh, which has been, which has seen sluggish growth. The real estate sector, to be fair, even prior to demonetization was seeing Maybe very, very sluggish growth. It has a multiplier impact on cement, steel, etc. So what can we realistically now expect beyond more allocation? You need to have a multi-program approach. One approach is we brought the real estate regulation development bill. Yeah. Second is we have relaxed the FDI norms. Third is income tax exemptions have been given for investment in the housing sector. And four, four three also, the FDA restrictions about the quantum, mm. that also has been relaxed. Mm. Now, now, the main issue is about reducing interest rates. Mm. Second, making more available, more money available through banking system. That, that's why I've been arguing with the finance ministry to give me priority sector lending for the housing. You've asked for priority yeah, sector lending for housing. I made out a strong case. And then what is his I'm response? Sure, I, I, I'm sure no, he's positive. Only thing is, jitna atha, utna roti. How much he's able to collect? <laughs> yes. The collections are improving. That's what he said yesterday. Yeah. So I'm hoping that uh, importance will be given to housing sector. Mm. One of the other things that I've heard is that perhaps the government will try and bring down the approvals required for low-cost housing, for affordable right. housing. The government may also make, in a sense, a land bank available to private developers who may look mm -hmm. at the possibility of low-cost and affordable housing. Is that on the table at all? Yeah, the first one is high on the table, is about ease of approvals. Mm. And then you have to go around from 46 agencies or organizations to get your permission. It is taking a lot of time and then there is expiration of the cost also. So the builders are very much concerned and worried. Not only builders, even state housing boards also, corporations also, they are all agitated. That's a reality, even mm. I am aware of it. So as a minister, I have held meeting with uh, seven of my colleagues nine times mm. so far. Mm. And the final meeting is going to take place in the presence of the Prime Minister, okay. while in all these ease of approvals. One has to come to civil aviation, mm. permission of the civil aviation. Mm. One has to come to forest and environment. Mm. And then one has to come to railways sometimes, defense ministry sometimes, mm. consumer affairs ministry sometimes, and then urban development, and then various ministries. Mm. We all have come together, almost we are on the verge of finalizing, and we have, for example, civil aviation, they will give color coded maps. Okay. If you are within that reach, there is mm. no need to come to Delhi, mm. for example. Mm. Environment, mm. up to a particular amount, the, the local bodies are going to be empowered okay. that they can dispose it of, they need not refer to Delhi. Mm. That's the way of uh, ease of approvals and mm. reducing the time for consumption, or time consumed for giving approvals, etc. That will go a big way. And so when can we expect the announcement on this, sir? Shortly. But I think, I, I want to do it before the budget or during the budget because I want, I need to complete the last meeting with the Prime Minister. Okay. And then we have already uh, issued uh, guidelines for uh, Mumbai and Delhi mm. with regard to approvals and we want because the World Bank also rating yes. Yes. also takes into consideration more the number of Mumbai and uh, yes. Delhi. Mm. We have made a beginning there and then we want within 30 days to 60 days mm. whether your application is approved mm. or deemed to have been approved. Mm. That is the approach. Okay. So within 30 to 60 days, what is the current approval period? Could take forever. <laughs> yeah. And, and not only here, I can tell you, I have been to New York recently and also Berlin. Okay. And I was interacting with them, everything, they were all talking very high. Uh. Then I asked them, sir, how much time you are uh, your, here, your organization taking for uh. construction permits? Uh. They were looking at each other. Uh. And then they said, sometimes one year, one and a half year. Even in those countries sure, also. Sure. So keeping that in mind, we are trying to the streamline the entire system. Okay. At the same time, for example, you have to take care of the environment. Of course. You have to take care of the uh, the government lands are being mm. encroached by mm. many people. Mm. And then uh, the safety and security of defense, defense mm. installation. Mm. That's why you need to take permission. In Jabalpur, mm. you need to take permission. In yes. Chandigarh, you need to take permission from defense establishments and all. So we, for everywhere, okay. we are trying to reduce the time that is consumed in this process. Okay, so two-pronged strategy. One, of course, will be lower interest rates, perhaps 
further relief as far as loans etc are concerned uh, to try and give the housing sector a fillip and the second could be to bring down the approval process both in terms of the number of approvals required and the timeline uh, to, to get those approvals. But to address my argument in favor of my request, I told them see what happened during the Bari Vajpayee period. Mm. The interest ma'am has come down to 7.25 percent, 7.5 percent. So there was a boom in the housing sector. Mm. Even the government is that, the, is that the kind of expectation that, that you have that interest rates that, will come down to the Vajpayee time era? That is, my, that is my aim. Let us see what is going to happen. Okay, uh, let me also ask you about the other big ticket item and that is smart cities and once again uh, we're now headed towards the actual implementation phase. Uh, what is the expectation there as far as smart cities are concerned See, and how confident do you feel? Uh, as far as smart cities is concerned there is no problems now. In case there were problems, first of all there is need for a change of mindset and secondly the urban local bodies hitherto were looking, to, looking up. Mm. Now they have been asked to look inwards they should also raise some resources. Mm. They must be ready for reforms and all. That's why smart city selection or identification is not based on political consideration or yes. regional or geographical. And you've already done that. That now process is over. Now yes. execution of the project through mm. PPP model, mm. public-private partnership. Mm. In the PPP model, though 35 countries, their ambassadors have come, they met me, they are all eager to invest. They want to first of all find out one is the approval system. Mm. Second is about the credit rating of the cities. Mm. This is a new concept now. Mm. More than around uh, 72 cities, mm. they have already done credit rating. Mm. At the end of the day, I want to have all the 500 cities which are selected under Amrut, mm. under mm. the mission. Yes. And then 100 cities are smart cities. They what should all the, go for credit rating. What about the possibility of municipal bonds as well? Yeah, that also is there. We are actively canvassing about the same and then in principle approval is there already. But the only thing is the uh, state government should really prepare them for the same and then we are moving in that direction also. Are you going to be asking for higher allocation for the smart city project in this budget as well? No, not this. First of all, I have to first of all make the cities ready. They have to create a SPV. They have to create, uh, they have to prepare that detailed project mm. report mm. and then they must start executing with what I have given. Then I have a strong case to ask for the finance minister support additionally for this. I am asking more money for housing. Mm. I am asking more money for Amrut. Mm. Um, though I have uh, sanctioned maximum number of 82% of the money that is given to me mm. already has been sanctioned. And the housing also for information I must tell you, during the UPA 10 years period, the total number of houses sanctioned was 12 lakh 70,000. Mm. In this short period of one and a half years, after mm. once the scheme is approved, so far I have approved 14,70,000 houses. Mm. So that speaks of the importance given to the priority given to the housing sector.